Hey everybody, Mark Vo Voland Outdoors, Merry Christmas 2021. Have I, this is the video I've been waiting to show you guys because today we use my Voltland shooting method, that five step shooting method, and we use my Voltland string walking method, two numbers, on to do, uh, to shoot a compound bow, bear bow. This is my beloved Browning Ambush, single cam bow, 60 pounds, 80% let off that I've had for years and years, totally stripped down. There's nothing on here except a cheap arrow rest, that's it. Otherwise, there's no, uh, I've got a knocking point, but there's no peep sight, there's no release point, there's no, there's no counterbalance, there's no nothing on this bow. And we're gonna shoot this bow at 20, 20 meters, at 30 meters, and then we're gonna go out there and shoot at 100 meters. And I'm gonna show you that this Voltland shooting method works on even a compound bow shooting bare bow. It was a lot of fun. So here goes. I already told you that this is 55, 60 pounds. So we get to use the very same two string walking numbers that I use on all of my other 55 pound bows. A three finger 20 meter gap, or I should say a 20 meter initial gap of three fingers and a 10 meter interval gap of one half finger. That for every 10 meter change in distance, I adjust the gap, the distance between the knocking point of the arrow and the drawing point of my index finger, I adjust by a half a finger and it all works. So let's try it out. Step number one, we wanna tune this bow in at 20 meters. I told you three fingers is actually a great starting gap for 55 to 60 pounds. The Voltland shooting method, step one, choose your gap, the distance between the knocking point of the arrow and the drawing point of your index finger. Step two, anchor under your chin on full draw. Step three, look down the left edge of the bowstring, that's your rear peep sight. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack on your target. Step five, make a small motion release, tiny little motion like you're a mechanical release. Let's give it a try on this bag. I'm gonna aim for that black set of tape that's a little bit on the right hand side. And I'm hoping, I'm not gonna be so excited that I jump around, but even yesterday I was out here uh, just trying it out. And I have to tell you, I got so hyper at some of my shots at 100 yards, I nailed the, the yellow, the orange tape right in the center. I bowled it at 100 yards bare bow. <laughs> I started shooting all over the place. <laughs> and a bunch of people here were all watching me. So let's give this a try. Step one, choose your gap. Three fingers. Step two, draw back and anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string with your eye. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right smack on your target. Step five, 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 five. Small motion release. Perfect height. I shot a little bit to the left. Why? Because I haven't even begun installing my arrow rest. I think it's actually shooting a little bit to the side. So I'm gonna pause, make an immediate adjustment right now, and then we're gonna continue shooting. Arrow number two at 20 meters to try to find, to try to determine my 20 meter initial gap. I'm expecting it to be three fingers and it sure looks like it, but my arrow rest was off a little bit off to this side. So what was happening was when the, when the arrow leaves the bow, it's gonna get pushed off to that side and the arrow landed just a little bit to the left camera left now i've turned it in one screw so that should start to straighten it out a little bit i'm still aiming at the black on the right side not the silver that's on the left here's shot number two still using a three finger gap and it seems to be working perfectly why because the bow weight didn't change whether it's a recurve bow long bow asian bow compound bow 55 pounds is 55 pounds so the 20 meter initial gap stays the same. It's three fingers. Isn't that amazing? Step one, choose your gap. Three fingers between the knocking point of the arrow, the drawing point of the index finger. Step two, anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Four, tip the arrow right smack on the target. Five. Dead on when I'm holding it, dead on. We are ready to go. Next thing we need to do, I got two arrows. 
you have to determine what my 10 meter interval gap is. Then I gotta go get some arrows. We gotta get this 10 meter interval gap. We gotta get this precise, guys, because it's gonna affect any little error that I calculate. If it's not a half a finger, but it's three quarters of a finger, if it's not a half a finger, but it's a quarter of a finger, that kind of thing, any error that I have, even from one 10, uh, a 10 meter interval, is gonna be multiplied every time I go further and further and further out. So when I calculate for 30 meters, it's going to be only the error in 10 meters. But if I go out to 40, there's gonna be the error in the first 10 meters, the error in the next 10 meters to go from 20 to 40. It adds up, you don't want to, you, you have to get that interval, as, that interval gap as accurately as you possibly can. Freckles, come on. Uh, lightweight bows are actually wildly unforgiving of any error that you introduce by your fingers onto the bowstring because it's so light, it moves the bowstring around. That's actually true on compound bows, believe it or not, because at full draw, I'm not holding 60 pounds. At full draw, I'm holding 80% of, um, I'm losing 80% of that. I'm holding 60 times uh, 20%, I'm holding 12 pounds, which means it's as jumpy as the lightest lightweight bow you can imagine. And here I am, it's uh, 29 degrees on a December day. My fingers are stiff, so they're gonna go like this. They're, they're not gonna go uh, instantly open. The, even the leather is stiff, so I'm gonna end up influencing my shot to the left and right. You gotta be realistic about what happens on an icy cold day. You're not gonna get a perfect release, no matter how hard you try, but you can be thinking about it. Last shot here, and then we're going after the 100. Step one, choose your gap. Two and a half fingers. That's three fingers minus a half. Step two, draw back under your chin. Step three, put down the left side of the string. Step four, put the tip here right smack on the target. Step five, step five, step five, step five. Ooh, shot over. See, I gotta be a little careful. My gap might be actually, my gap might be something a little bit less than a half of a finger, that it's 60 pounds instead of the 50-55. So my gap's gonna be a little bit smaller. Let's try that. We're gonna start off with a three finger gap. But this time, instead of reducing by a half of a finger, I'm gonna reduce by a quarter of a finger. That's gonna be my new gap, my 10 meter interval gap. We're experimenting here, guys. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, draw back under your chin and anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right. We're gonna go for all the marbles. We're going for that right cross. Step four, put the tip of the arrow right on that right cross. Step five. Woo -hoo -hoo! It's like this far to the left, but exact height. So what did I learn? I learned that at this bow, that I'm pulling at, it, it's a little bit, uh, 60 pounds, oh, six, 65? Here all this time I thought it was 60 pounds. Now I know why. I've got a quarter finger, not a half, but a quarter finger, 10 meter interval gap. Here we go at 100, me, at 100 yards, 90 meters. The gap is gonna be one and a quarter fingers down. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Step four, tip of the arrow on the target. Step five. Just missed to the right. Step one, choose your gap. Step two, anchor under your chin. Step three, look down the left side of the string. Step four, tip the arrow on the target. Step five. Oh, oh small motion release. Let's go look at that. Here we are at 80 meters. That's 88 yards. And there's 90 meters, and there's that shot. There's my shot at 90 meters, bare bow, with a Browning Ambush 80, 60 pound compound bow, shooting bare bow, using the Voltland string walking method and Voltland shooting method. If that interests you, come try this out. Remember what I used, a 20 meter initial gap, of three fingers, 
a 10 meter interval gap of one quarter finger. And there you are. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. The next one, if it warms up tomorrow, I'm gonna to be using my Genesis Gen X 40 pound bow, and we're gonna come all the way out to 100 meters as well. This is Mark Volt with Voltland Outdoors. Please, if you're here already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I love doing these videos. I love teaching people how to shoot like a real archer, and this is a great technique. Hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, we'll see you out there, bye.